now that our blog is up and running, let's take a look at some of the ways that Expression Engine routes the calls that the user makes from the web browser to your specific templates. And specifically, we're going to look at the default way and we're going to look at template routing so that we can make our blog a little bit friendlier to the eyes. So with that said, let's build. Expression Engine uses intuitive routing out of the box so that you're able to just instantly throw together a template, point your content toward that, and then it should all be good. So let's take a look at our blog here. So if we look at our, I'm not gonna look at the code, I'm actually gonna look at the file system here so that it's a little bit easier to see. Let's take a look at the list. All right, so this is inside of our templates directory. Um, we can see that we have pointed the browser towards slash blog. And what that does is uh, actually look for a template group called blog. Same with about, same with some other pages here. Uh, though we're not all doing that on different pages here. Um, we know that we've assigned our index template to our default group. So EE knows to look for that. But for anything that isn't assigned inside of the database, it's going to look for this first. So you can see that we have slash blog and that we're able to uh, open up our index template and that pulls in our blog index like we've seen before. Um, and then if we go to visit an entry, we can see we've done blog, slash blog slash entry slash the URL title of the entry that we've done, uh, which will then use the entry template here inside of our blog folder and call our channel entries loop here. So, but what if we wanted to make it so that the user could actually do slash blog slash the URL title of the blog? So this one would be slash blog slash have you seen this cat? That's where we can actually use Expression Engine's native template routing in order to handle this. So let's take a look at that. The template routes documentation is a great place to start for what we're looking at here. Uh, we can see that, you know, it talks about the usage, that kind of thing, but we're gonna take a look at the actual route. So really when we look at template routing, we're taking a look at the URL structure. We're looking at each and every segment to see what's coming through. So for example, you know, we can see, uh, they give this example of segment slash variable slash variable rule, all that kind of stuff. What's great is with template routing, you can actually set up not only the variables you want uh, to be coming in, but you also can set up the uh, variable rules that are set up. So they give this example here, slash name, slash first name alpha. So we're saying that we want it to be an uh, uh, alphabetical coming in, last name alpha, slash suffix regex. So we're actually able to use regex in our URL structures to pull in the content that we want to see. So we'll include this doc, uh, include this in the uh, content for this video. And we're also going to link to an Expression Engine University article that does uh, exactly what we're going to be doing here today. So it's a great place to start. We're gonna take a look at our template routes now. So developer templates menu, close the documentation. We can see all of the template groups we've created as well as the variables and, and partials. We're going to click the template routes down at the bottom left. There it goes. All right, and let's actually set up a route now. So first we want to choose the template that we want to make sure it's pointing to. And this is actually what's used by Expression Engine's routing to say, hey, I know when I'm looking at this template, I'm looking for XYZ. And then I'm going to paste in a very long string here. <laughs> what this is, uh, and I'll include this uh, in the notes as well. This looks for slash blog slash URL title regex with a uh, reverse lookup to make sure that the data that's coming in the URL is not looking at like category or something like that, or pagination. We wanna make sure we're not breaking those things as we're using uh, template routes here. So that's what that's going to do. We can also set segments required if we want to make sure that all of the segments specified in a template route are included. Um, so for our case, we're going to leave that blank. So let's click update. Perfect. All right. So now we can see if we go to learn ease test slash blog slash have you seen this cat? 
and there we go. We can now see that our template routing is working uh, because we don't have our slash entry in there anymore, which is awesome. So we have one more thing to do because if we take a look, I'm going to refresh the home page here. If we take a look at our blog blocks, we still have the slash entry here in our blog blocks. So we need to edit our template to make sure that this is pointing to the right place. So as we head back here, uh, let me close that. All right, so we take a look at the blog card embed that we did last time. We had our URL title that was included in there. And so what we're actually going to do instead, if we take a look at that blog card, here is where we are actually creating it, this line right here. And we're just manually setting that URL. We're actually going to use Expression Engine's routing helper to do this. So we're going to do, let's get rid of all of this. And we're going to say route equals blog slash entry, which is the template we assigned for our blog routes. And then we're going to set the URL title equals embed URL title. Oops, this one. And so all we've done here is we've told it the template we want to look at, and we've assigned the variables that should be coming in that template route. So now I'll save that, make sure that we've still got our embed set up properly. Yep. All right, and then I refresh our page. And now let's take a look. Oh, it's got an index PHP in there, but it's still working. So if I click on this, oh, we can remove that. So we can see at least the right URL structure is coming in. Uh, it's adding an index PHP because of something I have set in the back end, but nothing that you would need to worry about. Um, so that is template routing. Uh, in a nutshell. We can see the native routing versus uh, EE's built-in template routing. There are also other ways to do this, like managing it with an add-on, like the pages add-on or, um, or structure. Um, but one of the things to keep in mind is that it's a content management system. Your content is set out in a certain way, and you want to make sure that your templating structure and your URL routing follows that path. So with that said, we'll see you in the next one.